Hi, my name's Gus Farrow and welcome to Investing Channel TV. Now, the world is obviously focused on US equities right now, but that doesn't necessarily mean that this is the only trade in town. Today, we're going to take a quick look at the institutional takes across the broader market. To start off with, we've got a French investment bank in the Texas who believes that tough short term conditions in the Eurozone are an opportunity to load up on European stocks. They note that declines in the equity market are due to various bad themes like COVID-19 and the usual Eurozone loggerheads and jams. But the outlook for European equities is good given the real long-term interest rates, companies resolve to return to profitability and the creeping prospect of a medical solution to COVID-19. According to them, investors should therefore take advantage of declines in European equities to buy. In terms of a COVID-19 cure, they're expecting a solution sometime before July next year. Also, they expect Eurozone fiscal policy to remain expansionary and the ECB to continue with long-term interest rates staying very low. They also add that as the ECB keeps nominal interest rates um, low, once inflation has normalised, there will be a negative real long-term interest rates for a long time, which is positive for equities. Now, FinTwit has almost turned the concept of buying the dip into a meme. But here's a major bank saying that, that there might be a great opportunity to do so in the Eurozone. So it's probably worth a look. Next up, let's take a look at metals, which are often a very useful indicator for what's going on out there. ANZ recently posted a report noting that the iron ore market has been well supported by ongoing supply issues and a robust Chinese steel market. They feel that even though these issues are abating, sentiment remains strong as the steel industry looks towards further support from stimulus measures in China. They believe that iron ore prices are likely to remain high until there's real evidence of stimulus measures being eased. And they've got a target of $110 a tonne and they only see prices easing back below this level towards the end of the year. And moving to the yellow metal, um, gold, which has had a riotous spell of trading recently, Charles Schwab commented that the pullback from the high around $2089 to where we are trading now around 1940-1950 has been led by stock market gains, a strengthening dollar and developments in combating COVID-19. The San Francisco-based financial beast added that the broad, broader bullish view of gold has overlapped with weakness in the US dollar as a major catalyst. Now, since the start of August, the dollar index has been mostly stable and has seen sideways trading and traders may want to look to a major break of resistance or support in the dollar index to indicate the next move for gold. Moving on, we head to Denmark with Danske Bank, who are casting an eye on the euro dollar um, currency, currency pair. Now, this is traditionally a very boring currency pair, but with Brexit, it's got a bit of life in it. And they believe that it could soar to 0.97 as the prospect of a no deal Brexit grows. Now, many of you would have recently seen the headline that Germany believes this summer has been a washout in terms of negotiations and they've pulled out of talks. Their view is that the UK knows that all EU deals are fudged at the 11th hour and is stalling. So they're countering by making their play now to try and instigate some movement from the UK. Now, personally, I think this is um, an opportunity where, or a situation where they've mistaken a rare moment of clarity from the UK government with bluff. This is actually a government which I think is proactively aiming for a no deal Brexit. And that's just based on my hunch of looking at the UK's political climate right now. And it's probably worth noting that a no deal Brexit probably has much bigger implications for what a US UK free trade trade deal might look at um, look like. Now, that's all we have time for today. I'll see you next time. Happy trading.